next 100 days, I will face down the evil that has grown in ancient Japan. Uncover the mysteries locked within this amazing land and discover myths turned into reality. As I spawned into the world, I was in an unfamiliar place. It's you! You brought me here! The West is on fire, sir. A whole war is about to begin. Uh-oh, so he's finally come. I'm sorry I couldn't show you more, boy. Follow the servant and find the master. He will guide you. Okay, what are you guys- Holy! A giant serpent came out of the water and ate the wizard! I stood back as it turned, ready to meet my fate when it let out a huge roar! Run! We took off! We had to find the master and get answers! I followed the NPC to a kingdom. The guards were not happy I was there. We made our way through the pathways when we got into a large room. The NPC signaled me to go ahead. I walked down some stairs and into a room when... Another Sam- What the- The window blew open and the samurai stared me down as he jumped out. I ran over to the guru. There's no time. Take these. Find the boy. He was dead. The building was beginning to collapse. I backed up. Something was very wrong. I drew the sword and I ran. A samurai. This wasn't a guard. He attacked and I countered. Come on, sword. Don't let me down. I tried to outbrute the samurai, but he was too strong, so I ran away. I made it up onto a ledge just in time. All right, we need an escape plan. This whole building's about to burn down. I ran to the edge and hopped off. Outside, I found some vegetables on a garden, but dead ahead, I spotted a massive man and more samurai fighting. I ran over to the edge, looked at the giant, then hopped over and fell right into a battle. I booked it over to the pillar and peeked around the corner, and I quickly realized I was inside my favorite game and today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. You can use my QR code or the links down in the description to download Raid to your mobile phone or PC and begin battling right now. Now let me tell you about one of my favorite bosses, Sir Galaroth. He guards the arcane keep, and when I went in to fight him for the first time, I got wrecked, so I leveled up my champions and came back for vengeance. One of my favorite things about Raid is the arena where you can fight people like Shane the Goat. He was so easy I used auto fight. Eh. When I was out of the arena, I made a clan for you guys to join. I called it Muddy so we can battle clan bosses alongside each other and get the best weekly rewards together. Raid has a ton of new things happening this month, unlike Minecraft. <clears throat> battle the Hydra boss and join a ton of events and tournaments every single day, including some special Valentine's Day events, where you can get a new legendary champion to impress all the people you got a crush on. There's seriously never been a better time to get started, and if you use my link or scan the QR code, new players will get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. We're talking a free champion like Aina, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard. You will find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. It's that easy, boys. Click the link in the description, and I'll see you in game, champions. I dove into the water, and I swam away. I had to find this boy. He must be the key to what just happened. It seems like I was a samurai for only mere moments, but now I was a ronin. What does this have to do with the boy? Whoa! Wolves surrounded a poor fox in the woods. I charged in and began to battle them to protect her. Get your ugly paws away. I was low. These wolves did a ton of damage. I ran and healed. I cornered one of them and went head on with it. No, I'm that why don't you? A wolf had made its way to the fox, so I ran in to stop it. I began swinging, but it was getting tight. I held my sheath out to block it. Right as I killed it, I slipped and fell down a mine, but I was okay. I climbed back out. Hey, little buddy, you're safe now. I headed out to continue when I heard footsteps behind me. Is, is she? I kept walking, then quickly turned. Gotcha. Well, I guess I could use a friend. It's sort of being lonely here with no one to talk to. The thought of my quest for this boy loomed over me as I gathered supplies. I gathered some wood, made a wooden pickaxe, and mined some cobblestone. Why, hello. Come to help me mine. I made a cobblestone pickaxe and axe. Just gonna shear some sheep here? I boiled some wool and then cooked up the mutton I found. Me and my new friend kept on trying when we came across an opening in a mountain. This has to be faster than running around, right? Let's go through. We made our way down into the cave. Around, I spotted blocks that looked like they had the life sucked out of them. I think this used to be underwater. That's weird. I mined up some iron when... Oh no, I'm so sorry, no! The fox ran off. I I'm sure she'd be back. I, I felt bad, but I needed to get armor before continuing. A mortal in our world. Go tell the master. I'll keep an eye on the weakling. I gathered some coal and smelted down the iron, made a new set of iron armor, and continued down the cave. What? What was that? 
All right, we, we gotta move. I wasn't sticking around to see what made those strange noises. Oh, wait, what are those? I engaged. One of them climbed on my face. I swung and knocked it off. The other one made ground on me. With my katana sheath out, I blocked his attacks. I sprang forward and he fell. I was on my guard. Inside a chest, I found some grenades and smoke grenades. Were they guarding these? Those things were not of this world. This cave is not right. I began to run. I needed to get out. Oh, what the heck? Another one with horns came out of nowhere. It lights you on fire? I sliced at it and it perished. My adrenaline was high. I needed to get out now. I continued to run. I had to get the fox before leaving though. I couldn't leave her in here. Oh, heck no. A cluster of them appeared. I sprinted. Crap, it's a dead end. I turned and was met by two of them. I couldn't take them on. I soaked in the hits and then I ran. All of a sudden out of nowhere, I saw a bright light ahead. I chased it. I could see the opening in the cave. Finally, out of there. I had made it out alive, but my new friend was gone. You're alive! The fox had made it out somehow, but we had no time to celebrate. We had to get to the boy. A mortal passed through the plan, sir saying something about the boy. He had the fox with him. Ah, you failed me once again, Yoke. We must get to the boy first. Send the samurai. Mount up to the boy. To, to the, the boy. boy. We arrived on the opposite side of the boy's castle. I collected some potatoes and then made it to the edge. I peered over the edge. I did not want to fall down there. Are those samurai? Why, why are there samurai here? This looks like a zip line, but... How do I use it? I figured it out and I used the zip line to land on the roof and evade the samurai. Something wasn't right here. I can make this jump. Yeet! I snuck across the rooftops and made my way up the castle pillaring using cobblestone. I arrived in the room when I was attacked. Hey, what are you doing? A samurai had drawn his sword and was trying to kill me. I saw the boy on the bed and I fought back. Bring it. I ate and then engaged. After just a few hits, he fell. Mm. Week. Come with me, boy, or you're gonna die here. The boy followed me, and we made our way down the stairs. Another! Get back! I fought him, Ronin on Samurai. His swings did hefty damage, but my blade raged through his body, and he fell. Let's go. We made it outside. I noticed that his carriage was still there. Get in now. Yeah. We began galloping down the streets. Bombs fell left and right, and the Samurai tried to swing and hit us off the mount. Faster! Faster! The carriage was taking damage. We had to get out of there. Go, go, crap! Half a heart. We made it across across the bridge and dismounted and blocked the path. Yo, is that a monkey? We should, what the? The dragon, it ate the poor monkey. It roared at me and me and the boy took off. We ventured to a more peaceful land. My job was over, I had saved the boy. If we could get far away, then he'd be fine. Whoa, this place looks so cool. I found a small pond surrounded by mountains and we settled down. All right, stay with the fox. I'm gonna go get some supplies. I headed into the mines and got some iron and coal. I explored around a bit when all of a sudden I heard a growl. Wolves! I drew my sword and we fought them. Something was wrong. Why are your eyes red? I swung at the pack doing heavy damage, but I was low. I pulled back to eat. I timed my shots, but they were getting hits in. I had to be careful. Two hearts. Okay, time your hits, Nathan. Time your hits. Time. I timed a swing and then I ran. I ate up and erased the wolf from memory. I destroyed his partner, but then remembered. The boy! I booked it out of the cave. I had to get back. Dead wolves? I ran over and they were okay. Okay. How did these wolves die? Huh. The boy was petting the fox. They were fine. I was confused, but it was time to get to work. I smelted down my potatoes and iron. I collected some cobblestone and some wood. I wanted to build a home in the lake, minimizing attack points in case enemies found us. I began by building a dock or a bridge out into the center. I sunk andesite pillars to the floor of the water to support it. I used oak slabs to build out most of it and added in fence points for more of a dynamic build. I accented it with some pink leaves just to make it pop, and who doesn't love some pink? A heavy fog set in. I, I felt uneasy. I made it back to shore. What are yokai? The undead had found their way to me. I began to swing. The boy! I retreated to a corner to heal, but they mobbed me. I swung frantically, trying to keep them at bay. It's like they weren't trying to kill me, but just hold me back. This isn't good. Come on, go down, go down. I took one out. I wasn't stopping. I swam forward and continued striking, and then the last one fell. I made my way over to the beach, and as I ran, I saw a yokai with the boy. I chased, but they disappeared over the ridge. Oh, another one! Oh, it's just a horse. My armor was broken, so I ran back and I made a new set. The only chance I had was on horseback. I ran to a horse, hopped on, and we galloped away. We had to get the boy back. I didn't know who he was, but my master had placed importance on him. Little did I know the fate that he held in his hands. Ah. Uh. 
This is weird. I found a giant structure containing a well and I approached it with caution. Maybe it's where they were holding the boy. Ah, uh, samurai. The beast attacked! I sliced back! I have no qualm with you, why are you fighting me? I shall take your soul and feed it to my minions. I went in for some hits when she shot me back across the field. Oh crap! Go, 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 go! I sprinted off, the sky was going crazy! I tried hiding behind a corner to heal and then I ran out. Come on, more damage, more damage! Oi! It kept pushing me further and further back. I had to finish it no matter what, I charged in. Just a few more hits, it has to be close, come on! Woo! Why did that thing even attack me? I went up to the shrine to see if I could find anything when... Oh, wait, wait a second. A spirit? A well? I suddenly realized who it was. Yasami Okiku. Find Toyotomi. He will guide you. She dropped some powerful weapons and then descended back into the well. I collected up my cobblestone. Now I know why Okiku attacked me. Centuries ago, she was thrown down a well by a samurai according to ancient Japanese history. I think she understood I was a ronin though and let me go. My only lead was the man that Okiku had spoken of, so I traveled off. I arrived on horseback to one of the greatest cities in the empire where this dynamo lived. All right, you're not gonna fit through there. I'll, I'll go alone. As I walked through the city, I was alone again. The fox had run off and I had lost the boy. I, I was a failure, sad, and now desperate. I arrived at the house and I drew my sword, but the samurais had blue cloaks. They were friendly. I walked in, but I was stopped at the bridge. I need to see your master. He is busy. Go bring him a relic from the depths of the Biwa Lake and he may grant you an audience. I walked out towards the lake. Why didn't he just send one of his samurai to collect this relic? Huh. The horse is gone. All of a sudden, I was jumped by giant stone golems. They hit me back, but I had no chance. They backed me to a wall when all of a sudden, the lady on a horseback came out of nowhere. Get on. I hopped on and we rode out of the city. Thank you. Come with me. I can't. I have a mission. The princess walked off into the distance. Gilly returned over the hill. Not sure where she went, but it was time to continue adventuring. Hey. You're back. She had made it back just in time. We went ahead and we pushed the boat into the water and I began rowing, looking for anything that might contain a structure. I rowed out to the center of the lake. It was so peaceful when all of a sudden a storm started to brew. Waves began crashing the boat. It shook violently. I grabbed the fox and then all of a sudden we got sucked down. I fell into some structure. It was collapsing around me. More yokai. I began to swing. I was mobbed. I ran forward and then met a samurai. I drew my sword and attacked. He did a lot of damage. This one was much harder than the other ones I had faced. I keep losing my footing on these stupid blocks. <laughs> the samurai was no match for me though, but as I turned... Oh, crap. I charged in. A beast guarded the doorway to the next room. Come on, big man. Eat my steel. Okay, no, you're eating me. I tried to stay out of his line of sight, but his tail swipe kept knocking me back. You're going down. No one's going to stand in my way. As he roared, I charged in for the final time. Come on, so close. So close. Two, one, and he was down. I found some chest in the area with some golden apples and carrots. Another held some weird chest plate and more food. I put the chest plate on and looted one more chest, and then I pressed forward through the door when the doors blasted open. I looked around and dead ahead I spotted a huge man. I walked towards him slowly. Come to play? Well, let's see if you can get past my death trap. <laughs> All of a sudden, a yokai spawned and the floor changed. I swiped and then ran. All of a sudden, the floor began disappearing from underneath me. Another yokai, frick, go, go. I ran making jumps. More blocks disappeared left and right. Soon, the whole floor would be gone. Go, go, frick. I kept running. I was so close to the edge. I made it just in time as only one block type remained. The doors opened. As I walked through the door, I looked up and saw crowds cheering around me. Step forward, child. Holy crap! All of a sudden, we crashed through the ceiling. The platform was mid-air spinning. I was losing my footing, but I had to get composure or this was over. I went in for a hit. He sumo-bellied me backwards. Whoa. This is beautiful. I was snapped back in. I lunged forward and attacked. Just gotta not fall off and kill this man. Come on, more damage, more damage. He kept bouncing me back. Dealing damage to him was getting harder. We're headed straight for those buildings. No. We dodged them. The weather had an abrupt change. This was madness. All of a sudden, we turned and headed back towards the buildings. I kept fighting. Are those... Is that me? I was snapped back to reality by a giant belly flop. I gapped and began swinging. I landed back on the platform 
platform where all of a sudden he drew a whip out. What the heck? He began whipping me from range. This was super dangerous. Half my health with one whip? I went in for some swings. He was finally getting low. After some time, I figured out I could dodge his whip attacks. Come on, just a few more hits. I stayed in melee. I wasn't backing off. This was it. Yes. <laughs> You stand no chance. Give up the boy. Ah! The world began to spin, and then I found myself back in the river paddling. In my inventory, I had some sort of chest. It was time to head back now and deliver it to the Shogun. The fate of that little boy rested in my hands. He had to be somebody important. I arrived back at the city. Man, it's so quiet around here. Not sure I like this. As me and Gilly walked through the streets, something came over me. This wasn't right. There are no guards, Gil. Huh. I walked into the courtyard and looked around. Hello? Uh, anybody? I saw a figure up ahead and I walked towards it. Um, hello. I, I, I think you need this. I threw down the chest. You, uh, you look familiar. All of a sudden, smoke began engulfing the old man. I stood back. A giant figure appeared in the midst as the smoke cleared. Run! Now! We booked it. This was a god. Don't look back. Oh, crap, samurais. I battled, but there were too many. Get in the cart now. We jumped into the carriage. Yeah. We began galloping away. Fire raged past us as the samurai chased. We had to go faster. We made it away, but at what cost? What had I created? I had to protect this boy now with everything that I had left. On our way home, I gathered some spruce wood as I wanted to expand our home. It would all be fine if we could just get away from everything. I arrived home, put all my things things away and then began expanding the platform. I made a new foundation for the house to sit on by sinking pillars all the way down to the seabed. I built a little railing around it and finished filling in the platform and preparing an area for the main house. I planted a small farm and headed back to the island to begin building. Are those turtles? I moved closer. I hit one and a creature emerged with two heads. Others sprang up and began attacking. I fought back. I did damage, but they quickly wrecked me. I ran over to the edge and dove into the water. What are those things? I swam back up and resumed fighting them. This was my home. They were here for the boy. I was so confused. Who was he? I kept fighting and I brought both down. They dropped dripstone like the dripstone from the yokai caves. I turned and... It's you! I don't have time to explain. Ryujin is getting too strong. You must go collect the ancient three relics and stop him. I will watch the boy. Do this, or all of Japan is lost. I knew he was right. I said goodbye to the boy and... If he's hurt in any way, I'm coming for you. I collected some wheat from the farm and headed out. The guru showed me the path towards the first relic. Days later, I could see a structure in the distance. As I got closer, the land. It was corrupted. Something up there was causing an infestation had gone unchecked for centuries. Huh, well that floats apparently. You stay here, little buddy. I'll be back. Promise. I had no idea if I'd be back, but I knew one thing for sure. I'm scared of heights. As I pillowed up, I heard a noise. Oh boy. As I peeked around the corner, I saw it. A chest. And guarding it, a giant phoenix. These are supposed to be extinct. How? I knew I had to face it. I charged in, sword drawn. Hey, get down here. Okay, that's fire. That's hot, 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 hot. He blasted me with fire. He flew behind me and then shot fire again. I had no bow. Yes, come down. Come down. I'm coming. I began slicing. This bird was going to be served as a chicken soon. I was getting tons of hits in on it. It flew up and blasted me again, but I was getting close. Oh, not so close. Not so close. I ran to the edge to heal up where he couldn't hit me. He battled me on the edge where all of a sudden he knocked me off. I placed my crafting bench and crafted a hay bale and spammed. Please, please. Oh, oh my gosh. I used my leftover cobblestone and mined up. If a hundred block fall couldn't kill me, this peasant chicken wasn't about to. As it bathed in fire, I sunk my steel deeper and deeper. Oh, uh, I knocked it out. I had to run, but it was open to more damage now. I healed and then sunk even more hits. I was getting so close to the first relic. I waited for him to descend. I sunk more of my sword into his chicken wings and then he fell for the final time. I swiped furiously and he blew apart. The phoenix dropped her egg and I picked it up. I walked over to the chest and opened it. Inside, I found some strange armor and some food. This was the first relic. I only hoped I could gather the two in time to stop.
stop this evil god. Gilly and I traveled through a swamp when... What on earth is what are... Oh! It hit me! I had no idea what these things were, but they were murking me! They all teamed up on me. I escaped out of their little pond. I was running when all of a sudden I was met with another one. I tried to battle it when I was knocked back down a long tube. I'm dead. I'm dead. I fell onto a slime block, and as I looked around, I heard a noise. The ceiling closed. I tried to mine out, but I had weakness, and I couldn't do a thing. I was captured. Out the door, I saw more of those beasts. I opened the chest inside, and I found a boat. What does this have to do with anything? A painting. Huh. I tried walking through it, but I couldn't. I wonder if... <laughs> I'm too smart for this. It led into another prison cell with no way out. On the wall, I found some oak planks. I grabbed them, but I had no idea how to get out still. Oak. What if... I made a pressure plate. If this worked, I would need to sprint once I got out. I peeked out the door and I saw the guards. I could also see lava. I knew that was my escape. I prepared myself. Then I placed down the pressure plate, ran out the door, and sprinted towards the lava. Go, go, go. Parkour. Crap, I have to go back and redo this. I have to use momentum. I went back and redid the run. They were chasing me now. All right. Mm. Okay, okay. I was nearly there. I kept making jumps. I made the final few and then jumped onto the last piece. I ran and... A dead end? No. When I turned, I saw the beasts right behind me. They couldn't fit in farther, but they blocked my path. I tried to barge through, but I couldn't fit. With weakness, I had no chance of killing them. I timed it, and as the beasts jump, I sprinted underneath them. I could hear the squealing behind me. I had to be fast. Down here, go, go. Oh, okay, not that way. I spotted a break in the prison. I made my way through the maze as fast as I could and found the opening. I sprinted down the hall, looking for a way out. I saw a crack in the top corner. This was my way. I made it into a cave and then pillared out using cobblestone. Holy crap, I do not want to know what those were. Let's get out of here, Gilly. We kept pushing forward. Is this your first time on ice, Gil? <laughs> Don't slip. I made it to the beach. The next relic was kept under the seabed. I had no way to breathe, so I made some doors. Hey, big girl, stay safe. I'll be back in a jiffy. Go get some berries while I'm gone. I got in the boat and began venturing into the high seas in search of the second relic. Nine tails. Come forth, Godrius. Nine tails, I summon you to take your true form. When your master returns, you will betray him. I'd never betray him. We will defeat you. You will take Godrius, and you will destroy him or I will destroy your little sister. I began swimming after noticing some structures under the sea. As I got closer, I saw giant plants and structures that had sunk to the sea's floor. I began to investigate around looking for loot. The relic had to be here. It felt so lonely and cold, a place forgotten by everything that had once made it great. I found a chest and inside some food and a heart of the sea. What was that? I grabbed the turtle's helmet and began looking around. Something was coming and it was coming fast. Oh! A giant squid began attacking me. This was the guardian of the fallen palace. How hard can this be? Come here, boy. Nice tentacle swipe. Nice try. Now eat some steel. I kept swinging, but it did hefty damage the longer the battle enraged for. I had to keep catching my breath and healing. Holy crap, one heart. I went back in for more when all of a sudden... It ate me. I broke free. This squid was going down. Nothing would stop me. Crap, it's going to stop me. The last swipe grazed its large body and it fell splattering ink. Ah, that's nice. It dropped the chest below it. I opened it and inside the second relic and some food. I grabbed everything and swam around looking for more chests. I found another chest and inside a map called the Lost City with some food. I swam back and got to my boat. Hey girl, thanks for waiting. We ventured out to the final relic. Whoa, this place is uh... Gilly was gone again. I'm sure she'll be back. Dang, that's a massive Tory. I broke through the barrier and continued looking left and right as it poured rain. What is... Gilly? All of a sudden, smoke began engulfing the area. Something wasn't right. I stayed my distance. There was some weird-looking beast next to Gilly. As the smoke cleared, the princess appeared. Wait, what the... No. A nine-tailed fox. Gilly had betrayed me. She was a nine-tailed fox. She shot at me and I was batted backwards. I battled the beast. I didn't want to attack Gilly. All of a sudden, the beast drew a giant axe. I was getting owned. What was even happening? Gilly, uh, dodge, dodge, spill Gilly. I tried, but she nearly killed me. Half a heart, half a heart. She was gone. I ran into the house nearby and inside I found a chest. The final relic, vengeance. I drew vengeance. It pulsated with the beat of my heart. 
heart aching from Gilly betraying me. I cornered the beast behind the house. I could take it out with vengeance. It was doing heavy damage with its axe throws, but I had this. Oh, air, air, bill, 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 heal, heal, heal. I gapped. Gilly wasn't coming over. It was me and Godrius. I went back in and did major damage. Godrius was low, and then he shot me up in the air over the edge. Again? Ow! One heart. I gotta go. I gotta go. Godrius lost sight of me. I healed up and charged back in. He was going down on one of these swings. I looked around, but Gilly was gone. I focused back on the evil beast and drew it out. Crap. Distance, distance. Build, build. I charged in for the last blows and ended its awful life with a swing from vengeance. I looked around, filled with rage and sadness. My heart was beating and I almost wanted to cry. Gilly was gone. She... She betrayed me. After days of traveling, I made it back. I could see the boy in the distance. He was fine. The princess betrayed you. Something is wrong. Stay here. I'll return shortly. Build a home to protect the boy. Huh. That's not ominous at all. I grabbed my remaining supplies and began construction of my final project. I used polished andesite as pillars and went for a more traditional Japanese theme. Gilly betraying me made no sense. She saved my life many times. I just don't get it. I finished up the house with a traditional roof. The wizard still hadn't returned, so I harvested and planted a small farm. Oh, heck! Why do you always come out of nowhere? It is worse than I feared. You must travel to the lost city and stop Raijin before the sun sets on the third day. If he makes it to the fourth day, no Ronin or Samurai can stop him. I didn't want to die, but I had no other choice but to protect Japan and the boy. I gathered my things and went over to the small guy. Oi! Don't cry. Here, here, I got something for you. I ran over to the chest and brought him my old sword. If that old man ever gets really rude, just smack up with it. I left traveling to uncover my fate in a land that didn't belong to me, but a cause I would die for. As I traveled through the land, I saw things I had never seen before. Something unnatural has been here. I I'm just gonna go. I found a boat on the shores and began my voyage out to sea. The lost city was thousands of blocks away. As the rain poured, my heart throbbed. What was I even fighting for? for anymore. After days of traveling, I arrived at a strange island. This place is beautiful. I pushed forward looking around. Oh crap! I was attacked! Not more, Kappa! I drew vengeance and I swung. They weren't getting me into their hole this time. Oh, you get them ugly claws away. I ate up and flew back in and then flew right back out. Bro, where do you lift? They kept retreating into their shells and doing mad damage. When exposed, I swung and dealt huge hits back. Go down, you green slimy frog. I defeated them. They rescinded into the ground below me and I traveled on. Dead ahead, I spotted some samurai. He drew his katana and I drew vengeance and we engaged. They were double teaming me, but I had vengeance now and they stood no chance. The battle lasted but mere seconds before I dropped them both. Raijin must be here. That's a giant Tori gate, a bridge to the spirit world. Huh. Dead ahead, I spotted him. It's so beautiful. The only thing beautiful here is going to be me driving my sword through your skull. <laughs> May the dance begin. As he turned, a giant ring appeared. I charged. Aha! Fight me, fool. I drew vengeance and began piercing his ugly skin. Holy crap, what was that? He jetted me back using his water abilities and threw knives at me. You cannot defeat me. I grabbed some wood nearby so I could place it down and try and move some of his attacks away. Oh gosh, I'm low. More wood, more wood. Two hearts. I ran, and then he slowed me. Where are you going? Scared to fight? One heart, one heart. He was way more powerful than me. I need to throw everything I had at him. This is what the great master sends. Ha 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 ha. This man can do gymnastics? What? I retreated and dodged his attacks in the water. I climbed out and tried blocking his advances with my katana sheath, using it as a shield, but he pierced right through it. Come on, more damage, more damage. Oh. His knives came from my skin. I dodged his jump attack, but was hit by knives again. I built a wall and healed. Come out, come out. More hits, come on, more damage. Don't let me down, vengeance. Eat and attacking. He jetted me into the air and I went flying. I tried to mitigate damage by placing blocks, but I took most of it in anyway. He blew me up into the air again. How do you like the view? I was getting wrecked. I questioned why I was even fighting again. Everyone left or betrayed me. Why am I giving up my life for this? My heart was gone, but I didn't want to die to a blue frog man. I healed, drew vengeance, and went in, but I was immediately shot back. <laughs> How pathetic you are. I juked him and ran in for some hits. His taunting was over. All right, final charge. Let's go. I went in. He was going down. He got me low, but he was just a few swings away. Come on, come on. Heal, dumb body. Heal. Come here. Come here. Stop, stop. One more hit. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. <sighs> 
I began to walk away when I heard a noise. What the? I am doomed. I looked down in defeat. Wait, what's that? Suzu? Johnny? Master. It's the boy. Gilly. And the samurais joined together and they grouped up. We charged in. I had no idea how this was possible. The dragon smashed his head into the ground right onto me when all of a sudden I appeared somewhere else. Am I inside him? What are these things? I began swinging. I was mobbed hard. Demons with bows, yokai, everything was thrown at me. I was inside the dragon. I battled and defeated the first wave. Oh, come on. What is this, a bouncy wolf? I took down the wolf and pushed on. His heart. I have to get to his heart. More evil was before me. I slashed with every single ounce of strength I had left. There it is. There it is. The dragon's heart. I hopped down and began battling the evil minions around it. I got a few stabs on the heart, but I was knocked right off it. I pushed through the yokai and demons and I took down the heart. My screen began to shake and all of a sudden the dragon vomited me back out. He was at half health. I reappeared in the water alongside the princess and we fought through the yokai to get back to shore. The dragon smashed back into the group, hitting his own men. More of the these dumb yokai, I need to get to that dragon. I snuck out under the dragon and dealt heavy damage, but I was spotted and blown back. Blue fire rained from the sky, but we were still getting close. Yeah, stay down. More hits, more hits. I could only deal damage when Oniki lowered his head, and that was rare, but he only had so little health left. I swam in and dealt more hits, even though I was risking getting pulverized by his water attack. More fire. Ah, okay, yokai, yokai, back, back. As fire rained and the princess lit the field red with the yokai's blood, the dragon dipped his head, and I struck. He was dead. Thank you, Zuzu. Zuzu returned back through the spirit gate. Now I know who you are. Oda Nubanaga. You have great things ahead of you, lad. Thank you, Gilly. I'm sorry if I let you down. As I turned to greet the others, the wizard turned to me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done here yet. Special thanks to Arts by Kev, Painful, Corinthia, Switch, Dr. Duke, and G-Squad for their help in this production. If you want the custom build or the armor and weapons I use, subscribe to my Patreon. The link will be in the description. Want to do a voiceover in one of my videos? Go and follow me on Twitter and tweet at me your best impression of Mudflaps. What is where? Oh, come on.